everyone! Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter! That's not what I sound like. Standing to my left, we have <laughs> the beautiful Miss Glitz. Hey everyone! Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. And who's standing to your right? Mr. Glitz. Oh man, I gave you a really nice I'm standing missing. next. Standing to my left is the beautiful Mrs. Glitz. Oh, and, I didn't hear that. And you, and then, and then, I'm sorry. Oh, it's Mr. Glitz. I didn't hear that. You're Mr. Glitz. I'm anyway. Guess what, guys? We're back in the New York. You always say that because you always say that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? We have two photo frames today. So since we have two, he got roped into doing one with me. <clears throat> so the first thing I did was printed. I'm doing this picture. Look at that beautiful Miss Glitz. The, I'm Miss glitter. glitter. You're glitter. I'm You glitz. don't even know who I am. I, well. So he wanted, that's his favorite picture of me. So he said, print out his favorite picture. This is my favorite picture of him. This was taken at our cabin in Tennessee. So I printed these on vinyl on my printer. Then I took clear gloss spray and I sealed it two or three times. Now there's some grandkids out there I want to say hi to. I don't remember their names. Oh, Sorry. that's right. I got to look up their names. Yeah, I forgot, but hi, grandkids. <laughs> we'll find your names. I'm sorry. Um, so he's copying off of me because I told him what I was going to do. What are you copying off of you? I'm using the colors of the <clears throat> photo, the blue, the green, and the brown, and I'm going to transition blue, green, brown to the drips. It'll be, I'm using the sun, yellow, orange, and brown. red. So he, he came transition. up with that because I came up with mine. So... The way that the instructions that come with these, these are from Let's Resin. Hey, I got an idea. What? Let's Resin with Let's Resin. We are. I know. That's a good advertisement. Good plug for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there you go. Let's Resin. There's your plug. <laughs> anyway, their instructions say to put the photo down first. Upside down, obviously, and then pour your resin. And of course, we don't follow instructions. And cover the photo. So I don't like that idea because I think that the resin is going to get up underneath this. So we're going to pour it up to this lip, let it cure, put the photo on because this sticks very well to the. You know how I know because I ruined a couple pictures. All the ink came off on my silicone. That's why I sprayed it with clear. So, mm. I know there's glitter. I can't help it. There's glitter everywhere. Uh, I got it on mine too. I Get don't tape, see. tape, tape, tape. Mm. So, once the colors are cured, we're going to put the photo on, back it in clear because I feel if clear gets up underneath it, it won't matter because when we unmold it, we're going to pour clear on the front just because it's there's no glass or anything on these. That's my plan. Whether I stick to it or not, I don't know. But each one holds almost three ounces. It's about two and a half ounces for this edge. What is that? Be careful, Look, this you're going to scratch that. This must be resin tape. I guess it doesn't matter it's, if you scratch that. It's sticky. <laughs> I told Let's Resin to get you non-sticky, and she said she would let them know, and maybe they could do something about that. Wouldn't that be amazing if they invented non-sticky resin just for you? I think Let's Resin, what's her name, do you know? Why? What's, let's, let's, I don't have it offhand. I think she should come here and visit us. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm going to mix up six ounces of resin and we'll get bring started. us over there to visit her. <laughs> Be right back.
How do you guys like that vacuum chamber? Pretty snazzy, huh? Perfectly bubbleless in like three minutes. Perfectly bubbleless? Yeah. So we had a change of plans. As I was stirring resin, you know things pop into my head all the time. And I realized transparent colors, you're going to see the back of that picture hanging over the edge because I can't get this cut perfectly. So we switched over to mica powders. So I'm using blue, brown, and green micas, and he's using red, orange, and yellow. You should probably do it under here so they can see what you're doing. That just leaves witnesses. So, yeah, we just, you don't need a lot. That's plenty. How do you know? Because I know. This isn't my mm. first rodeo. Are you eating? I'm eating a Reese's peanut butter. Oh my pie. gosh, he's eating on video. How <laughs> rude. You told me I had 10 minutes, so I went out there. And 10 getting... minutes has been up. Well, I See how make... I get bonus points because he walks away when we're when I'm mixing resin. Can I put some See? In there? What? How beautiful the little bit goes. How beautiful? Now I can't put glitter into it. I'm going to figure out a way. Somehow, some way, I'm going to get glitter into this project. All right. <clears throat> You're going to need the most of red, though. Just so you know. Why? Because that holds the most amount of resin is your red. The bottom, all those drips. They're much deeper than the rest. We need a new contract. We have a contract? Yeah. What does it say? It says that every time I do resin with you, you take me out the Outback. Whatever. Prime rib. You guys probably think we rarely go, which is probably why he's always talking about it. Yeah, because she never takes me out. We rarely go out. It's because I don't like the way people cook. I can cook better than them. So I'm paying for a meal that I don't like. That's why I don't go out. Mm. I don't like to be served canned vegetables when I have fresh vegetables in my refrigerator for free. Not necessarily. We just made free. jalapeno poppers yesterday right off my jalapeno pepper plant. I, don't I didn't know even know we had jalapenos growing until he brought them in the other day. I don't know why it's still growing. I thought they were. I already pulled them all and it's still putting more jalapenos out. How's that look? looks orange. It looks nice. It might look okay when you're done. A little bit of lighter green. So how's all you wonderful resin people out there today? You know, I got an email the other day from the Waltoneers, and you know what they said? The Waltoneers? <laughs> she says... Hello, all you wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you always say. I love the Walton ears. Hello, you wonderful people. Well, they live close to us now. Well, we need to go visit them. They live in Ocala. Oh. Hello. All right. Where's I'm going to pour mine. Is that where your mom and dad's moving? Yes. Let's not discuss that. Well, mm. you want a Reese's peanut butter cup? No. Oh, no, they're good. It's sugar. Okay, ready to pour. Bye. As my doorbell rings and I forgot people were coming over. Oh, well. Oh, this. I want this in a. What? I want this in a paper cup. It's too hard to squeeze. You want another paper cup? Oops. No, I'm good. getting warm. I've waited too long. You got to move this hand. I need that portion. You're supposed to pour it, up, pour it all the way up to the top? No, no, no. Don't go over that ledge. Mm, okay. I would, yeah. I mean, this ledge here, you, that's where the picture's got to go, so don't let it go over that ledge. Because we're going to back it in clear. Back in black! 
No, back and clear. I got songs for everything. I know. Hey, how'd you get that black and brown like that? What? That's the mica powder doing its thing. Yours did it too. You just can't see it the same. It's going to change and move. You want a Kit Kat? No, I don't want a Kit Kat. <laughs> Stop eating on video. I got to eat. I'm hungry. That's not eating. That's garbage. Well, I like Kit Kats. All right, next one. I want green. Next one's orange. Now, Micah's you have to blend or they're not going to blend together themselves. That's why I didn't want to use Micah's. I have enough blue. I knew. Ooh, that might look cool. Look at how that blended. Except that's the back and not the front. So when you blend it, you got to go all the way down to the bottom. Otherwise, you'll have a line on the bottom, or actually the front. A lot left over. Well, I don't think I need to use it. You domed yours pretty good. I guess I'll be filling up the hand mold today. Did you just say I did good? Is that what you said? Be careful. Yeah, you did good, but you're getting close on the verge of spilling over. So quiet. Very serious. Very serious. So you said this is a competition, huh? Well, it always turns into one, doesn't it? Sometimes, yeah. doesn't have to be until he sees his is really nice and then all of a sudden it's a competition. I was just going to say that. And then if it's not nice, it's not a competition. How's Miss Karen doing out there today? Got your number. 8675309. Yep. There's the alcohol. Hey, I'm not ready. <gasps> you just ruined me. I did not. You ruined me. You guys. That's oh. the back. If it's not touching the front, you're not going to see it. So I hate for you to do a lot of work for nothing. I can't believe you just ruined me. And then once the picture goes in, we'll fill it all the way to the top. It does look kind of cool. So it won't be a competition. It is a competition. <laughs> we need a little bit of... What? Some more orange down here. Yeah. 
Look at how artistic you're getting today. But I don't think you're going to see that because it's on the back, not the front. Oh, it should blend in there, right? No. I mean, no. No, not necessarily. Oh, mine's going to blend or we're going to have a big problem. I don't know. Okay. All right. BRB. The floor is yours. What do you want to say? The floor is mine? Yeah. You I'll can say, clean it too. No, I don't want it then. So I just want to say we went back and found the names of the little guys. So I want to say hi to Sky. Uh, I hope I said this right. Zayden? X-A-D-I-E-N. It's and either Zayden or Zadian. Little Olga. Yeah. Hi, Sky, Zadian, and little Olga. Hi, guys. Hello. Wait, we got to go down here and say hi. Where at? Can you see me? Your head is too big on people's oh. TVs. Hmm. <laughs> so hi, little guys. So now that that's done, we came up with a plan. We got a plan. See how these edges are kind of coming up because I can't cut this to the exact length. So I asked him for a solution and his solution, because I'm like, I kind of want to pour them in black. So you cover all this stuff up and not clear. So he said, why don't we just UV resin the edges down? Then it won't leak underneath. See how I am? So I think that's genius. So that's what we're going to do. Do I get paid for this? No, you don't get paid. I want my idea back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got one and I got one, so oh, just hmm. I'm not doing yours. Oh man, this is sticky too. <laughs> oh, I use everything. Let's resin. I really need your help. Except uh, we need little. You're gonna do it all in one. What yeah. if it goes underneath? Yeah, go underneath. I think I'm gonna leave mine thick. No, I'm rubbing mine in like that. Really? Yep. Oh. Everything is so sticky. You have gloves on. I know, but it's so sticky. You know what? Let's resin is going to make me a non-sticky. Let me use this while you're doing that. A non-sticky resin. Excuse your hand. And then I'll be able to be in more. Ah, you're getting it in the resin. And then I'll be able to be in more of their more videos for them. <laughs> for them? Yeah. You're trusting that way more than me. Well, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. So. I think that. He just wants to get done quick. Sky and little Olga and Zayden need to come and give me a hand. I hope they're watching this. Okay, so I think that is good. Start yours, I'll keep doing mine. I think, well, mine is the high viscosity one, so it's thicker. He didn't use that, but I want a nice thick edge. Maybe I'll grab another light. No, I don't have one that reaches over here. I'm going to borrow it first. What's wrong with this piece? Oh, it's it gotta... needs a, cl a plug. Oh. It works together when they're connected, but not separated without a plug. Didn't you have a little like UV flashlight thing? I've never had a flashlight. I mm. have lots of UV lights, but they're way over there and the cords don't reach. Mm. There you go. There I go. There I go. So the question is, do we, what color do we back it in? Black? Backed in black. I mean, we could back it in like <laughs> we could back it in a color that matches. No, I think black would look good. How long does it take this to dry? Not long. I'll use that for a minute. You're trusting that thin layer, huh? Look at this. Look at this. We'll wash it off. Uh, we are going to have a talk about your studio. What's wrong with it? You need to keep this clean. It's not possible. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. It is not possible. It is possible. Now look, nothing. I wipe it clean. Well, maybe start mixing up your resin then since you're so quick. I'm guessing... Here's the black. 
This is the one that I use now because it's already black. I'm guessing... 10 ounces? Probably six each, so we'll both need a cup. How much did we mix for this? Do we... I don't remember. Oh. You know what would be It good? was sit three. Then that was... Oh, we're probably going to need eight each. You know I would do good? eight. Do you know what would be good right now? A bowl of cherry vanilla. What's up with the ice cream? Uh, you know. You're making yourself sound like you have a garbage gut on this video. I do have a garbage gut. <laughs> you want to see it? No. <laughs> How many of you? <laughs> no. What are you doing? Washing all I'm the bottles? I'm washing the bottles. <laughs> He's washing all my bottles. <laughs> I'm tired of this sticky stuff. All right. This is cured. So you said his is how many? I would say eight each. So four of each. Four of each. Mm -hmm. Be right back. We could always use it for something else. He actually mixed his own resin, and he didn't whip it like cake batter today. Whip it, whip it good. He he even scraped sides. So what I'm doing? Proud of you. This is going for my little buddies. I'm gonna pour some for Sky. So here goes Sky's pour. Are you sucking up to the grandkids? No, I like kids. And this is for Zayden. I really hope I'm saying your name right, buddy. I think we'll have extras. Then we will definitely finish the hand mold tonight. And then I'm going to pour some for uh, little Olga. I wonder how little, how old little Olga is. We need some ages. She's probably the baby of the family. Oh, I went kind of high. Right there. How's oh, my, no, that's the way it was. How's my look? Um, oh. Whoa, look from, you need a little tiny bit. Oh, I need some down more. here. See how that bubbles over the edge? Domed. That's how you want your... You need a, like another ounce. Where? In the whole thing. Don't go too fast. Hang on. Let it catch up. Keep going. What if it mustards? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Okay, well... Not that side. This side. This must not be level. That's good. That's good. Good enough. Oh, I got a lot left over. You do? Yeah, I got all that. But it's me, guys. I'm all by myself. So it's really late at night. He's obviously sleeping because he goes to bed so early and I go to bed super late. I'm going to unmold mine. I'm not going to unmold his. I'm just going to set his aside because there's other things I want to do to mine because I know on this side there are some things I want to do. So I'm not going to flip it over yet. So it's a little warm. I have the heat mat on. I'm going to unmold it and see what I can do about the embellishments. I know his doesn't have the same embellishments mine does, so it doesn't matter that I'm cheating. Not really cheating. I'm just getting a head start. So I'm just going to carefully unmold the little drips. This is the cutest, cutest mold. And I'm sure it can be done in so many more ways. I'm just hoping the picture didn't get black all over it. Are we ready? Now there is a thing on the back. They sent the parts to put a stand on the back. I don't know how to do it, so I'm gonna let him figure it out. Oh, it worked. There is no black that seeped through. Now it's not, see all these little embellishments on the side? Because it's warm, it's a little. So I plan on pouring clear in the center just to protect the vinyl because it's not a regular photo and there's no glass on it. I was hoping obviously that this could have been transparent, but because of the reason I told you earlier that we couldn't, I mean, it looks okay. I'm not 
unhappy with it. It's just they don't merge as nicely when it's mica powders as they would have if it was transparent because I had plans on putting glitter in it and everything. So I think because these are indented, I'm going to mix up some UV resin and some glitter. And I'm going to use my little scribe that I love using. And I'm going to drip it in there and I'm going to get that cured. And I'll probably just go ahead and pour my my clear. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let me let me find a glitter that I like and be right back. I picked out my Ballroom Dance Fine, which is a silver holographic glitter. I just love this stuff. I think it's going to be perfect because it's got all the colors in there. So all you do is grab your UV resin in a little cup, pour some in there. I can always add more, but get a little scooper. Let me find a little spoon. And drop it in and mix it up really good. Now I'm gonna test one, one corner first, just one little piece, and make sure it's going to cure through um, this glitter. Actually, I just want a tiny bit more because it's still a little tiny clear, but I haven't had a problem curing through glitter yet, so hopefully this is not where I'm gonna have the beginning. So just take the tiniest dotting tool, that's, this is what I'm using here, and just dot it where you want it, which these places are very tiny. So it is going to take me a little bit of time. I'm just going to cure that real quick and make sure it's going to work before I continue on this entire thing and waste my time. So I'm going to put that on top so it doesn't cure while I'm waiting. And then I will put you on a fast forward if it works so you don't have to be bored out of your mind. And then we will top coat that. I'm thinking about unmolding his because it's just clear coat. It's not like it takes any skill to do that. Um, so I might do that for him. We'll see. There we go, guys. It was that simple. I think that really made it a little bit better. Really pretty. Just enough shimmer. I hope you could see the colors. I'm not sure you can. Maybe a little bit. Obviously much better in person. So I think I am going to just top coat them both. I'm going to unmold his. He'll be surprised tomorrow. He will probably be happy because he wouldn't have mixed the resin anyway. He would have had me mix the resin for him. So what's the difference? Let's just get it out. Now, if I rip it for some reason, it's not sabotage, I swear. Got a lot of little dots here. Let's see. Did his black come through? No, I'm shocked. He did get some black on this. I guess he didn't fill up his red all the way, which that doesn't really look that bad. His red looks pretty cool. His transitions look really cool. That looks really nice. I have a feeling he's going to win this one. If I was him, but I'm not going to give him the idea, I'd be putting rhinestones in here. And if he doesn't do it, I'm going to do it later. Since obviously none of you are going to want this demo of pictures of us, I'm going to bling it up the way I want it. I'm just trying to get all these little bits off. So all in all, I have to say, I really like his. I like his transitions a lot better than mine. Him messing around with it with that dotting tool really did a cool effect. So I'm going to mix up, I guess maybe about four ounces total and I'm just going to cover that I'm gonna get it debubbled I'm gonna make sure all the bubbles are completely out before I pour it in here I don't want any bubbles 
And um, being so late, I'm not going to turn the heat mat on. I don't need to rush it for any reason. Now this one is a little like like this. Not horrible. I'm just hoping it doesn't mess with my with my clear. That's why I keep it's soft. You know what I mean? So maybe I will cool it down first, flat. I'm going to put some books on it, get it cooled down flat. His is flat already. I just don't want any problems with the resin not covering the whole picture. So let me be back as soon as that's ready. Now while I wait for that to cool down and flatten up, I have a couple extras I poured. But the most exciting thing, look, I finished pouring the hand mold. I sprinkled some gold dust on top. Just to finish off the back. This is a little sticky, so I'm trying not to touch it. But this, this is next. This is going to be the giveaway. I am not giving it away on this video. You're going to have to come back. I'm going to do a complete whole video to make this into something else. I'm just going to add more to it before I give it away. So make sure you watch this video coming up. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. But definitely check tomorrow. There's going to be a few twists and turns in order for you guys to enter this next giveaway. It is not going to be as easy as the other two by just putting a word in the comments. Nope. I've got something in store. So you're just going to have to watch this one. Until then, I did do this little... I added some gold flakes into the black resin. And again, this mold needs extra UV resin to shine it up because it's... a uh, it's a doll mold, so it doesn't make the little wings shiny. So I just take a little bit of UV. My new best friend lately, I've been using this way more than I ever have. I'm going to rub it on here. Shines it right up. You can see the gold glitter in it. I made a keychain out of the last one that I did. And I did package that up to go in a, in a package. So I'm just going to UV resin this after I wipe my hands. Or I'm going to cure it, I meant to say, while I demold this. Now this feather, it's just, well, it's black and I did put some, did I put some? I don't remember if I put gold in here or not. But we'll find out. Let me just get all this resin off my fingers before I touch that one because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that one. Okay. I can't remember. I think this is just black. And I think I left it just black because I know my friend Maria will want it. As long as there's no gold in it. She doesn't like gold with her black. I'm pretty sure I didn't put gold in it. Nope, no gold. So it's just a black feather trinket tray. Now hopefully, I won't pull that. Oh good, thank God. I've not been doing good with little bits lately. There we go. Just a plain black trinket tray. Just for you, Maria. I will be seeing you tomorrow anyway, so you have a few things you're getting from me. So there's that. All right, let me go check my picture frame, see if it's ready. Isn't that the coolest? I just love watching the bubbles come out of this stuff. I'm so happy I bought that thing. 
So I just put a bunch of books and a weight on top of this one for about 15 minutes and now it's flat. So I don't think I will have any problems of it coming over or not touching the surface. So I'm just gonna pour some resin on. Let me grab a dotting tool or a silicone tool, I mean. Where's my favorite one? Favorite one has glitter on it. Won't be using that one. Hang on, I gotta wipe one of these off. I don't want anything in this resin, but I think it's unavoidable. I already see glitter in there. I already see, oh, oh well. Guess there's gonna be glitter on my picture. Sometimes I don't want it, which is very unusual. I don't know any other way to like seal in this photo. So if you guys have any other ideas, or if you have done this before, what did you do? Because there's no glass that goes with it. And I didn't print this on photo paper. I just had, I just had some um, vinyl laying around for my decals. So I printed it on that. And I wasn't about to go to the store and have one printed because I didn't know if I was going to ruin it or not. So, I don't know. Whatever. I think it looks good. I think this is going to be a close one. You guys have a... To consider all things in this one now because they're both pretty good I'm just trying to get the bubbles out from the edge there's one right there all right I'm gonna spray it with alcohol wherever it is But I don't think there's any bubbles to worry about. Actually, this looks like it needs another drip. I just wanna make sure there's enough so it doesn't like separate when I'm not looking. All right, I have a tiny bit left. I will make some pendants since I have no more room in my hand mold. I will make something out of them and we'll see his reaction tomorrow. I'm just gonna sit here and make sure there's no hairs in it, cover it up. Oh goodness, I overflowed his, he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna grab a paper towel and soak some of that up. He is not gonna be happy. He's gonna say I sabotaged him. I shouldn't have put that extra drip in. I guess I can get a syringe if I have to and suck it out, but all right, I'm gonna play with this for a minute. Mine looks pretty good. I don't think I went over anywhere. All right, be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to Glitz and glitter it's not the beginning it's the end oh okay <laughs> he caught me he woke up this morning came in and checked on him and said why did you unmold everything yeah you didn't let me finish but look i finished <clears throat> it for you i know but i wanted to unmold it how do you like it i like it i think it's pretty good i think that's you'll I'll... have to watch the video to say what i really said to hear what i really said uh-oh i think that's a beautiful piece of art Look at that. Look at that beautiful Not smile. Not that. Look at the frame. That's when she went skydiving with me. She surprised me for my birthday. And don't forget mine with the extra embellishments. What? Oh, sorry. So it comes with a couple things. It comes with some stands. So, <laughs> work excuse work. me. The only thing with the stands is it'll work for mine. 
it won't work for this one because all you have to lean it on is this one little drip at the bottom. So we went for the little hooky things and he screwed them on the back. So where we're going to hang them, not quite sure. Oh, we can hang them on our chest like a necklace. Okay. Yeah, this says you're mine and I'm yours. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No? Okay. All right, guys, you know what to do next. Let us know who wins. Yeah, vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Hey, quiet woman. <laughs> quiet woman. <laughs> uh, <cut. laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you on the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye, guys.